Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got my coffee and I've got a question for you. What is it going to take for me to get you to print your photography? In other words, what is it going to take for me to get you from this to this? Because this is a whole lot more enjoyable. I believe the full enjoyment from photography comes from having your work printed. The larger, the better. If you're already printing most of your digital images, this video may be academic. But if you aren't and you enjoy the art of photography, this is going to be important for you. So if you're still here, let me explain. There are two practices today kind of masquerading as one. And you're familiar with both of them. There's digital imaging and there's photography. Yes, they're different. No, they're not different. Digital imaging, by its nature, does not create a tangible product. It requires an electronic device to view. Obviously, right? You've got to, you've got to have a phone or you've got to have a computer or something to view it. Photography from its inception has always resulted in tangible products. The graphy part of the word, writing with light. So you say, well, it's just, just a change of technology. It is a change of technology, but it's not just a change of technology because the human experience is what I'm trying to talk about. The human experience of how you enjoy your photography to me and to almost every client I ever come in contact with is that when it leaps from electronic to a tangible print or canvas or something like that, it becomes a piece of your life. It becomes a piece of art in your day-to-day -day life. And it takes on more importance. It takes on a more tangible form. Therefore, I think it's the highest expression of your photography. And I think you're missing out if you don't actually print your work. This day and age, we have to have the electronic creation part. But we don't have to stay in the electronic world. Even if your work is completely personal, you're never going to sell it or exhibit it, I would argue it's still really important to print it. In fact, if your work is completely personal, the entire reason you're doing photography is for enjoyment. The printing becomes even more important. I know you'll enjoy it more. I, it, it will give you a tremendous sense of accomplishment when you see your work finished in real form. So you have a couple of options to print your work today, right? You obviously can get a photo printer and do it yourself. In the old days, that was a dark room, much bigger commitment. Uh, photo printers aren't cheap. A good one's not cheap, but honestly, it's a lot less expensive in terms of time and money than it would have been in the old days to set up a dark room. Uh, photo printing today is so much easier. Or you could send it to a lab and have it done. There are a lot of great labs out there. Labs tend to have specialties. So it, once you know what kind of finish or paper or canvas or whatever you like on your work, you're going to find that some labs are better at some things than other things. And you should try them out to figure it out. But you have a lot of options with good labs today. So if you are interested in getting a printer, I do print some of my work. I don't print all of my work. I don't, in fact, I, I don't actually enjoy printing my work. I find it kind of boring and tedious, but it's a means to an end. And I do for certain images that I do, most especially my black and white, I do tend to print them myself because I'm an old time darkroom photographer. That's what I did. So I'm just used to the iterative process of printing. And if you're interested in how I do it, I'd be happy to make videos on it. Just hit me up in the comments and, and ask a question or let me know if you'd like to see a video on that. On the other hand, it's sort of a little bit of magic to have a print come from a lab, especially a large print, right? You, you open the wrapping paper up and you see it all at once. It's that aha moment. I think the reason I don't enjoy using the printer as much as I did enjoy using the darkroom was because in the darkroom, when you had the print in the developer, there was that same aha moment when it all of a sudden came up in the developer, much like unwrapping it today. Yeah. Six of one, half dozen of the other. It's, we are where we are and printing has never been better and more archival. Today's printing technologies, 
very much more archival than it used to be in the old days. So that's really important. Pretty simple. You know, I, I, like I said, at the very first question of the video, what will it take me to get you to print your work? Because I guarantee you're going to enjoy your photography a whole lot more if you start creating some nice prints of your work and you can surround your life with those prints and have your work and your passion become art in your life. Hey, thank you for watching. If, if you do, again, as I say, if you have questions about my printing process, just let me know and I'll be happy to do it. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.